Now, another way you can display forms is by using the web form node submodule. But before we can do anything, let's make sure the submodule is installed. So go to extend and then search for web form and make sure you install web form node and then click on install. And now just go to structure, content types, and you'll see that there is a new content type called web form. And then if you click on manage fields and you can see that this content type has two fields, body and web form. The module implements its own field type called a web form, which allows you to display forms on any fieldable entity. So you could display a form within a block just by adding a field to a custom block type. Or if you want to allow editors to embed forms using the paragraphs module, well, you could create a paragraph type and then attach the web form field to it. But let's now create two instances of our request a callback form. The first one will have email pre-populated as the preferred contact method. And the second one will have phone. And this is the real power of using this web form content type. You can have multiple instances of the one form. So go to content, add content, and then click on web form, and then just enter in request a callback, and then email. And then from the web form dropdown, select request the callback, and then click on web form settings. And then in default submission data, enter in the key of the element, which in our case is preferred underscore contact underscore method. And to figure out this key, just go to the build page of your web form and then grab the key from this column here. And then I'll enter in colon. And then this one is email. So let me enter in email. Now make sure you add in a space. If you don't, you will get a validation message. YAML must contain an associative array of elements. Don't freak out. This can easily be fixed just by adding in a space and that's it. So now if we scroll down, you can see that email is the default preferred contact method. So let's just create another one for phone. So again, click on content, add content, web form, request the callback. And then this time we'll call it phone, select request the callback. Again, put in preferred contact method, colon, remember space, then phone, and then click on save. And then you can see that phone is the default value. Let's now create a few test submissions. Let me just quickly create a few. Let me, let me create another one on the phone form. And then let's just go to email and create one there. Let me just open up the other form in a different tab. And then I'll click on results here and also click on the results tab. Now you can see that on this results page, we have two submissions. And on this results page, we only have one. And that is because Webform is smart enough to only show you submissions which have been entered in on this particular page. So this one, request the callback email, only has one submission. But if we go here on the request the callback phone, there are two submissions here. So you could easily develop a system in Drupal where editors could create multiple web form content pages, but they can only see submissions that have been entered in on specific pages. Now, if you want to see all the submissions, well then just go to structure, web forms, and then click on submissions here. And you can see all of the submissions. So here we have 12 submissions. And then three are from the web form content page. So one is from the email page and two are from the phone page. And you can see that because the submitted to column has been populated, whereas the rest of them, this column is empty because it was submitted on the default page. Now, another option you get when you install the web form node module is this references page. This page shows you where the web form is being used. So if we were to have 20 other web form content pages, it will show us every page which is referencing 
the web form. So here you can see that there are only two pages that are referencing the form, and that is request a callback email and request a callback phone.